Hey, this is my uh, preview for Ring of Honor Revolution Weekend Toronto, the Toronto uh, Revolution thing, Canada, whatever they're calling it. Uh, I don't know, Revolution's cool. Uh, it's a hot topic right now. <laughs> With uh, Syria and Libya, yeah, Egypt, Revolution, uh, yeah. All right, so this card is looking pretty freaky good. There's one match on this card that doesn't excite me at all, and there's seven matches that excite me at least. Like uh, where at least I'm like, okay, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, let's get into this card. It's holy shit, pretty good stuff. Uh, our opener most likely will be the double danger scramble between Rhett Titus. Tommaso Ciampa, Michael Elgin, Adam Cole, uh, Grizzly Redwood, and Andy Right Leg Ridge, who, yeah, he's a Canadian uh, regular when ROH comes into town, and Detroit regular. So I uh, this double danger scramble basically two legal men start out, everyone else is outside of the ring, but uh, you can tag them in, you know. Um, it's just two men are always legal. And if the action spills to the floor, if one or two of the men come out, one or two people can come in, which is like uh, in Mexico, Lucha rules. Uh, so basically, someone's out of the ring, if he hit the floor, uh, another man can come in and he's the legal man. So uh, that adds an element of excitement, but also they're very uh, Lucha-like, is you must have two pins before you win this match. Uh, there's a lot of guys who could win this. Adam Cole, uh, Ty, like everybody. The the upset would probably be uh, Redwood or Ridge, but let, like Adam Cole easily. Uh, Champa, Titus, but I think Michael Elgin will win this, and he's my favorite. Uh, I like Grizz, but I think he's my favorite in this match. Elgin and Titus are good. I don't know. This this got a lot of guys I like, and. Instead of doing two or three other matches and overcrowding the card and making it like a TNA card where you have like two minute matches, I think it'll get good time and you know the crowd, the card's not just peppered with unneeded shit. So this match will be really fun. And then, like I said, Michael Elgin, Michael Elgin all the way, the Canadian crazy horse. Uh, I think in a year or two he's gonna be big. I mean, already is big, but. <laughs> Status, not a statue. All right, then uh, we have at least it's listed on the website a special challenge match between Kyle O'Reilly and Claudio Castagnoli with uh, Shane Hagedorn in his corner. Obviously, uh, he doesn't need him, but you know uh, he gets heat. So uh, Kyle O'Reilly's got this really uh, determined style, but he's smaller and. Uh, Claudio, the much bigger guy, looked at looked for him to throw around O'Reilly. But like every match Claudio has with the smaller guy, whether it be uh, Quackenbush or Pac or Matt Seidel, aka Evan Bourne, the, just exciting stuff. I mean, there's some crazy shit. J just imagine the size difference. Imagine a little guy like twirling around. And, Claudio catching him and throwing him up, uppercutting him, all that shit. It's going to be a great match. At the very least, it's going to be very good and very fun. All right. That, well, you know, Claudio might knock him out cold. But it's going to be fun. All right. Then we have a Manhattan Mayhem 4 rematch. Steve Carino versus the Prodigy Mike Bennett. Uh, yeah. Anyone, anyone excited for this? Anyone? Not even Mike Bennett's mother is excited. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping Steve Carino deliberately gets disqualified. Uh, yeah, I would love to see, uh, I don't know, maybe get a spike or something and just stab in uh, Mike Bennett in the head, set up for a hardcore match of some type, street fight. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think Bennett would excel in a street fight type of environment. It would hide some of his uh, technical... Uh, some of the wrestling ability he's missing, basically. I'm not saying he's bad, I'm just saying he's missing something. I don't know, it's in the ring, but it, it's something. I don't know what it is. It's not moves, it's something specific. He needs to be hit harder or something. 
All right. Let's get back to the good stuff. Uh, this should be the fun, the most fun match on the card in memory of Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney. Colt Cabana, Boom Boom versus the Lizard Man, Delirious. Um, yeah, Delirious is coming back. Uh, probably, uh, well, he'll be back every once in a while, but this is for a very special occasion. Uh, Colt Cabana and Delirious have, like, they have a, they had like a good um, chemistry, they had very good chemistry with Larry Sweeney. Um, classic fun stuff. Uh, I expect great stuff out of this, and I will be second row chanting, sweet and sour. You know, just, uh, yeah, love Larry Sweeney, so. All right, then we have a Big Bang rematch, Davey Richards versus Kenny King of ANX. Uh, this match is very good. Uh, Davey's pretty driven. He's going to be hard to beat. Uh, but I, I like King a lot. I think since their Big Bang match, uh, well, obviously Davey became a main event level guy. Kenny King is probably where Davey Richards was at the Big Bang, around that level. Uh, actually, it's very similar. He's in a, a great tag team. They can win the tag titles. I mean, it's a lot of similarities. Uh, he's starting to get better. Just, I expect a very good competitive match. Alright, then we have a grudge match. Christopher Daniels with Chuk Martini versus El Generico. Now, if you don't know yet, you're, you're probably like, why the hell is Christopher Daniels with Chuk Martini? Well, what happened was, Christopher Daniels took the Book of Truth during, uh, I don't know if it's a match or competition, I can't remember. It's a couple months ago, I think. He took it and he kind of had he had it, and uh, he was reading through it. He said he read it, and he threw it in the trash on a video wire. Well, he brought it back to the ring at um, geez, the center stage uh, WrestleMania weekend show, uh, the second one. And during a match between Generico and Strong, it might have been after the match, might have been post match, but he. Basically, is facing Roderick in the House of Truth, and then he turns around and nails Generico with the book. He, even Michael Elgin was shocked. It was a very good surprise. They had it. They, it was well done. And uh, yeah, obviously Generico is not going to take kindly to get smacked in the head with like a 700-page book. It's like getting hit in the head with a have a nice day. I'm reading that right now. So uh, yeah, d just uh, Daniels. Uh, back to his kind of old way, sort of, but with the House of Truth, which makes the House of Truth way stronger. And you got Generico, uh, the most, you feel more empathy for this guy than any other guy. Every big blow he takes, you feel, uh, he's just, just, you get behind him. All right, then we get to our co main event, I would call it. First for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships, Jay and Mark, the Briscoe Brothers, challenge the champions, wrestling's greatest tag team. Charlie Austin, Shelton Benjamin. Uh, this is just going to be a great match. Any way you cut it, I, I think it will be better than the ninth anniversary show match, and I think it will be harder hitting. Uh, yeah. We're, Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team are already better than they were at their last match against the Briscoes, and the Briscoes are more aggressive now. It's just going to be a great matchup. All right, then this is the main event for the Ring of Honor World Title. The champion Eddie Edwards defending against Chris Hero with Shane Hagedorn, obviously. Uh, this is just going to be a, a great match. It's my two favorite wrestlers in the world right now, uh, Hero and Edwards. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is going to be great, obviously, uh, for me and I think for anyone else. Anyone who, I don't know, maybe doubts Eddie Edwards as champion won't after this match. I mean, if he loses, they will. But if he wins, they won't. I, I mean, either way, they're going to think he's a great wrestler. It might, I think it might be his best singles match ever. Uh, I, I might be going out on a limb there, but that's what I think. Edwards versus Hero should be a classic. I'm calling it right now a classic ROH Revolution Canada. It's going to be a great show. I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to stay at a hotel with a girlfriend. King size bed. That's... I pretty much need some, at least a queen, like 6'5". So, uh, yeah. 
It's going to have a great time, great weekend. I'm uh, going to roam Toronto, uh, do a bunch of cool stuff with my girlfriend, whatever we can do before we have to take the train back. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. I hope everyone enjoys the show. It'll be a must have DVD. It's going to be a great show. ROH Revolution can. Uh, Canada, check it out. Check out uh, Revolution uh, USA the night before in Detroit, Michigan. So that's going to be good. It's going to be hardcore. The Detroit show's more hardcore. It's Detroit. All right, everybody, uh, enjoy the matches, and uh, I'll see you later.